Hey guys, so today we're gonna see how to install and set up paperless on Trunas. It's uh, an open source software to manage your documents in a searchable way. Uh, it lets you organize your scanned documents, your emails, or any document you have, and perform OCR and text det detection from it, basically, and uh, put it in, uh, in their database so that you can search any text you want inside it. You can also tag your documents and group them in specific groups uh, as you can see this is how it looks like all right so make sure to hit the like button subscribe and let's get started okay so as always you're gonna start by creating data sets uh, to find which data sets we need you're gonna look for a paper list start the install process and check the storage configuration part so we have media storage, consume storage, trash, postgres data that's it we have uh, four yeah so let's create four data sets so I will create data set inside this paperless ngx put the type apps as always to not mess with the permissions then we create four data sets so let's start with media all of them must be apps, uh, the type of apps, of course. We have, ah, we also have data, data, media, consume, trash, and uh, Postgres, so five. I'll skip this part to not waste time. Okay, as you can see, I'm done with the data set, so I have five, five of them. Let's start the install process. Let's keep the name, change it to time zone if necessary. Choose a good password for it. Make sure to use a strong password, of course. Uh, you can change the port if you want. For me, I'm gonna use... this part it's just uh, to remember it easily of course uh, now let's set up the data sets host path apps config paperless this one is data all right I will just copy the path to use it for uh, the other ones host path this one is media This one is a consume. This one is trash. And this one is Postgres. All right, hit install. Okay, this looks good. Ah, yeah, yeah, this is important. Automatic permissions. I forgot to check in. check it. Uh, otherwise, it won't work. Whenever you see Postgres uh, or anything database related, uh, enable automatic permissions. Anyway, hit install. Okay, now it's deployed. Let's start it. Type the username and password you choose. Alright, this is it. So I'm gonna close this pop up. Uh, same with the tour. You can you can watch videos about it later. I'm just gonna do a quick uh, 
how to use it a quick guide on how to use it and uh, set it up I'm gonna start by uploading a simple file as an example I'm gonna choose this flight ticket okay now let's open the document as you can see at the right side you have a preview of the document and the left side is information and metadata about the document that we need to fill let's change some information here like renaming the title we can also specify the document type for that we need to first create the actual type so let's do that go to document types then create and give it a name for me I'll create a flight type to add my flight tickets go back to the previous page I guess we need to refresh the page now we can specify the document type we just created we can also add some tags for better organization and easier search I'm gonna add two tags Paris and flight in content type you can see the whole document as a text file which is used as a searchable text meaning you can search any word inside the document to find your file that's it. We can save for now. But of course, you can edit it anytime to add more tags or even edit the title. Here we can choose to open, download, or edit the document. We can also search for documents using specific keywords thanks to the searchable feature of paperless. That's it. I'll let you explore other features of Paperless on your own. See you in the next video. Like and share if you made it this far. See you in the next video.